<clears throat> Hello, chat. Hello, Picnic. Hello, Rhino. Hello, anyone who happens to be lurking right now. It is time for another stream. Dude, I fucked up, and I'm kind of pissed off, because yesterday, uh, hello two cool four eyes, welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay, but yeah, dude, it fucking, I'm a, I'm a little bit pissed off, because uh, yesterday I did, like, pretty much all of the poses I needed for all of the L sprites, because I wanted to get on the ball on that, because she also has quite a few outfits to do. And, uh, I accidentally saved over my HUD layer, so I had to remake the, the HUD again. So... Uh, yeah, that kinda arcs me a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, have not to do right now. Bleh. Yeah, it's it's on me. I should have paid more attention to where I was saving, but I saved over my HUD layer, so I had to quickly remake the the new HUD. And I've lost all the progress on the sprites because the sprites were all flattened to one image. So that was all gone. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So I'll have to go back in and redo all of those sprites. Like, that wasn't even an instance of me not saving. It was me saving over something that I shouldn't have saved over. I'm so upset. on like a three hour video and just do it again. <sighs> like, I'll live, but I'm not happy. <laughs> Hey, G -G -G.
I'm gonna show the wrong layer and only realize that the progress is saved to completely redo those layers. Yeah, it sucks when that happens. Did I see the video on Clonella Fan? I did. Kind of expected there to be more, but I don't mind it being the way that it was. Well, hopefully I won't have to wind up with someone, uh... Support trolling? Troll supporting? Or maybe I'll have to deal with it twice as hard, who knows. What's up? Uh, I realized that I fucked up and lost like three hours worth of progress. <sighs> so, I'm a little, a little not happy today. Last three hours on which thing? I was doing Zoel sprites yesterday, just so I could get started on them. And I got all of the pose sprites done, but then I accidentally saved over the hub image. Like, like you you see this? Uh, hold up. You see this little reference area where I'm, I I draw the characters in like these little borders here. So this is this is the the hub the hub reference basically. And I saved over that, so it was all one layer, and I, so I lost all of my progress on Zoelle's uh, sprites. Because I wanted to get those done, because she has like three outfits. She's got her main one. Uh, she's got the cool jacket. And then she's got, uh, the one she got at, in, in Skylar's Dimension. So. Yeah. I, uh, I lost all that progress because I accidentally saved over the wrong fucking thing. Which means I also had to remake the, the hub. The 
hop layer to hop it. I'll live, I'm just a little annoyed because now I have to go back and redo three hours worth of progress. my soda but I accidentally knocked it over so that thing's well and shook up now. Awesome. Can't even have caffeine. Fucking can't shit today. Hello Joshi Taro, welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. X-Wing. Is the stinky Tara lady your significant other? Fair enough. Thank you for the follow. So when you draw hair, you have to draw the full head first and then the hair? I mean, that is the way that I do it. Also, I would argue I'm not an artist. I just draw things because I have to. But, uh, that is a discussion that people do not seem to like whenever I try to have. But yes, I typically draw the head first and then the hair. been very much reintroducing her in the commentary community things. Fair enough.
I'm very tired. Me and Nicole were in the art. Oh. Part of the alt CC stuff. I see. There is a chance I remember you. Under a different name. <laughs> so you've seen you draw over 30 characters, but you're not an artist. If you kill one person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's the Josh Peck person. Again, I'd probably remember under a different username. Cause I don't remember a Josh Peck person. In any case... Yeah, I was re-watching Ponder Sprocket the movie yesterday and getting all pissed off of it. Ah, Mature God. That's a name I recognize. Yes, yes. Okay. That's definitely a name I recognize. But yeah. That was... It's all I come back. Well, for me, I mean, it was, it's never left. Um, frankly, I'm still not over, I'm still not over a lot of 2017, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, so, so much I have learned yesterday. Because I was re uh, as I was gonna say, I was rewatching Ponder Sprocket the movie yesterday. While I was, I was working. On these sprites. And, oh my god, listening to Ernie, Chirp, Jorm, and the rest of them. Fucking talk down to me for like two hours. I was like, God, I don't miss this. <laughs> uh. Nah, it's... Uh, in fairness, I think you're probably the person that I interacted with the least from the alt CC thing. Maybe. Possibly. I think Mr. Inferno was the other one. So I never really had any... Like, correspondence with either of you. At least I don't think I did. Maybe I did, and I just don't remember. But yeah. Yeah, it turns out I'm still not over that. <laughs> I mean, anytime I still think, anytime I think about Ski Hound, it's, it triggers like a, a fight or flight in me. Um. Mr. Inferno is a loser chaser. I'll take your word for it. Um. But yeah. I had learned yesterday, I'm not, I'm not exactly over all of this stuff. Cause like, I, anytime I think about Ski Hound, it's still fucking throws me into a, a panic. Uh... I think back on, on that whole shit and, and like it just, it pisses me off how much I had to walk on eggshells with like everything and couldn't address anything. Um, and then Dylan could just kind of lie about me behind the scenes, uh, until... fucking until he, he left, and then he just kind of got away with it. Because my story was, like, never fully told. Like, a lot of people thought that I had told my story, my side of the story of that whole thing. But, like, looking back, I really didn't talk about the alt that frequently. Not super frequently, at least. There's a few times I did. But, like, I was never able to say anything, because if I did, I would get jumped on by the entire community at the time. <sighs> Y'all met in a wrestling server in, like, 2019? It was early 2020? 
Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. I just... I try not to let it get to me. <laughs> I, I promise I, I don't think about it that frequently, but apparently I'm still not over it. It's just... I don't know. Or is it a good recap of the whole thing? Oh, the alt CC drama? Nowhere. Not a single person has done a recap of it. I've wanted to, but a lot of the alt CC videos have kind of been lost to... A lot of the alt CC videos have kind of been lost to time. Um, alt CC, Dylan stuff, has all been lost to time. And, like, nobody has, like, a, any sort of archives or, or mirrors of it, so... If I was to talk about it, I don't... I, it would be a, it would be a very very much one of those you kind of just have to take my word on it or you kind of had to be there kind of thing. So I don't know if we're ever gonna get a recap of the alt CC drama. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to just fully air your grievances? Uh, as I said, I've wanted to make videos about it. But, because a lot of it's lost to time, kind of can't do a whole lot about it. Just one of those things that I kind of have to live with the fact that I'm never going to get, like, any closure on it. Well, it's like, cause yeah, cause if I, if I just told the story in like a video, who the fuck would believe that an entire community was turned against one person for like an entire year, even leaking into 2018, where people would completely isolate them, or completely isolate me, completely cut me off, talk shit about me behind the scenes to the point that I had no one to turn to, I couldn't speak about it because then I would get jumped on by this same group of people and those outside the uh, outside that group of people that suddenly supported them. Um, who, who would who would who would believe that? It seems so wildly victim complexy. So. <laughs> Hey, well. How am I? Uh, I could be better. <laughs> I, uh... I did a bunch of sprites yesterday and then saved over the fucking, uh reference image so I've lost like three hours worth of progress <laughs> not super happy about that it's fine I'll just redo all of the stuff that I did yesterday. <sighs> you shoot her contact info, then you just kind of zoned out. Eh. Sorry I have to put you through that entire circle. I didn't really interact much, it means anything, very sorry. That does mean a little bit, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, no. It's... It's crazy, like... 
I, I mentioned this on Twitter yesterday uh, while I was watching the Father's Rocket video. Um, it kind of fucks with me that, like, I, I made, what was it? I made confessions and apology in 2019 videos where I confessed to a lot of my shitty, like, uh, a, a, a lot of my shitty behaviors. Because I did. I was not perfect back then. I'm not going to pretend like I was. But, uh, I was, I, I sat there, confessed everything, and fucking apologized for it. And then I still have people like Justa Sylveon saying that I should be take I should be taken off my, like, I should be taken off the internet, taken off of YouTube, and stuff like that. So, even if I apologize, it doesn't mean anything. But, like, someone like Dylan, especially Dylan, can do with all of the shit that he did from 2016 to 2018 get away with it, and nobody knows the story. Like, I was mentioned in someone's video about Dylan, because Dylan was getting in, getting himself into a lot of shit uh, last year, like a year before, something like that. He got himself into a lot of shit. Um, and got, him, he got his ass cancelled, but I think I was mentioned in one video and it wasn't even for, for very long. It was... Yeah. It's like, Dylan has always been a very duplicitous individual. A very manipulative person. What even did Dylan do? What, last year? Or... With me, specifically? <laughs> Cause, uh... Yeah, last year I th think there was... I don't know everything... That happened to him last year. I wasn't keeping up that much with him. I just know he got into some shit with fucking... Eggman. Like Mike Pollock. I think Mike Pollock mentioned Dylan fucking Thomas on Twitter was like one of the wildest fucking days. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? In a more private setting, even as opposed to a video because you never really got your side, it was always Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Yeah. Well, yeah, I. I mean, I, I don't... As I said, I wouldn't mind... Just... Telling it. It's just... Yeah. Because <clears throat> a lot of it... Because again, a lot of it was basically I felt like I couldn't say anything or do anything without it being put under a microscope at the time. And in a lot of cases, that was the case. So. Why of all things was the doodleless cringe vid the one where he turned on you again? Uh, because he- because I didn't mention how we did live streams together. Which I kind of wish that I did nowadays, because then I would have, like, downloaded them, and I would have had an archive of them, but... Um... He's since deleted all of those off of his channel, and it's like... Yeah. And... I, uh... I lost that ability. Same goes for all of his commentary stuff. I really wish I had an archive of all that, too. Uh, so, there was a DHT archive, but that's no longer a thing anymore. So, like, there's so much- there is so much missing from this story. 
god. Uh. <laughs> what was it? He, he was re-uploading uh, his podcast with, with Dumbsville. And Dumbsville, like, took it to Twitter and was like, Hey, I don't appreciate him fucking re-uploading these. And, like, I, I, on the other hand, would be happy to take those 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 commentaries that he did on me or or the fucking like live streams we did together I would, I would happily take those <laughs> is Dylan's flattery to make any form of splash notes is gravy train Christian content is dried up because Dylan is nobody with nothing of value to offer the world yeah. <sighs> Dylan Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Really was all about him, though, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't. Oh, that doesn't surprise me at all. Hearing it from from Tara, it's like, it, oh, it was all about Dylan. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I was at the epicenter of the explosion, and it was still all about Dylan. <laughs> it was like you being a bit toxic with him. He joined the LCC to slander you. I said he was a white knight of Jar. He got offended by that. Joined the alt, and then made my life miserable for like... Two years. Well, year and a half, if I want to be specific. <sighs> and it's like, don't get me wrong, I shouldn't have called him a white knight. I, I still stand by that apology, like, I, I shouldn't have done that, that was out of line, that was out of pocket. Um, I was just kind of upset that he was taking a live stream where my thoughts were not, like, in order, and then, like, treating it as if I was making, like, a video about Jar. So. He turned he a he heel turn, called it called the T-word, and bullied him again for making bad content. God. Yeah, it's like, I, I shouldn't. It's like, I, there, there like, I, I definitely should not have called him a white knight. That was, like, that was out of line. Um, but instead of, like, because we were friends. Instead of reaching out to talk to me about it, he joined the alt, and then behind the scenes, not only, uh, Tara, I don't know if you know this, but not only did we have, or did, did Dylan and I have, like, a three-hour Skype call, um, where he was telling me, like, what you guys had planned to do with the alt, and he basically said that you guys wanted to poke and prod it until it, like, fell apart, and then you guys wanted to become the new commentary community, which is why, uh, for the most part, I was very dismissive of you guys, was because that was the stuff that Dylan was telling me behind the scenes. I still have the call. Yes, I have, I still have the entire call recorded. I do plan on re-uploading it at some point, but I have, I have an entire call where just Dylan and I were sitting down and just talking about the alt, and the stuff that he had to say about you guys was like, Wow. <laughs> Apparently one of you guys wanted to dox me? Like... Um... So, like... That's that's why I kind of looked, uh... I, I kind of looked at, at, at a lot of... The alt CC with, with like... Distaste and, and, and like, just dismissal outright. Um, guess I walked in on Alt CC talk. Yeah, I mean we have we have an ex member of the Alt CC in the chat, so uh, it's just one of those things that was just bound to pop up. <laughs> but yeah, um, see, so yeah, I, I still have the the recording. Um, wasn't there a snippet of the call in the Just a Sylveon vid? There was. Yeah, I had the whole thing uploaded too. But I've had to take- I've had- I've since had to take it down because my archive channel had, like, two community strikes. So, I, um, 
so I, I have it currently taken down. But I do plan on re-uploading it at some point, and maybe I'll send it uh, over your way if you want to hear it yourself. Uh, I can give it to Emo to, to pass to you, or maybe pass it to you directly if, if we wind up getting in contact. Um, but like, uh, then there was, uh, oh, what, what else, what else was there? Oh, right. I think it was me, maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe it was you, I don't remember. <laughs> I was, like, it was apparently one of one of the two that I didn't know, so it was either you or Mr. Inferno. Either or. Um. But yeah. Uh. Right, where, 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 what else was there? There was the whole fucking live stream. That was another thing. The, the live stream that Dylan did with Manga Common. And a handful of others. Um. And I'm like, that one, like, that, that live stream is, is still, like, an all-encompassing, this is why I fucking hated 2017. Because, like, a lot of that, and, and I detail this also in the Sylveon video, uh, because there was no other time I was ever gonna be able to talk about that live stream. <laughs> but, like, um, I, uh, like, did everyone in that, like, was against me. Like, even to the point where Dylan was asking for people to be on my side in the call, and then not a single person joined. Which was great. And while I definitely shouldn't have made the response that I did, and called them all fucking, what was it, emotions away from sociopaths, uh, it was definitely one of those moments where, like, I had to say something, or at least I felt like I had to say something, because not even, because even Rachel, who joined to be one of those people on my side, even Rachel at the time, we were not friends when she went into that call, and she addresses that a couple of times throughout the stream while she was on it, um, and was, was very willing to just kind of push me into oncoming traffic, whenever any of the other people in call even remotely spoke up about me. Like, she was very quick to back down on defense. So it's like, man, I had no one in my corner. Not nearly as much as, as people thought that I did. It's, it's, it's a lot. There's, there's a lot that I have just never really, like, really, really got into when it came to the alt stuff. I still have, uh, I still have some chat logs. Actually, I was able to get back into my Skype lately. So I, Skype logs from, like, Dylan and, and V and stuff like that talking about the alt. I wish I had like, the actual Alt-CC-related conversations, but Skype vlogs don't really go back into 2017 that much. Like, maybe, like, halfway through 2017 is, like, the cutoff point. Um, and I, I, I've tried. I've tried to go back further. So I, I wish I had, like, more of the, the conversations surrounding the Alt, like, when they were happening. But I do have some of the aftermath to that, or some of, like, the late-stage Alt-CC-related drama, um, DMs. I, I, I managed to get back into my Skype to do that. Um, uh, mostly because I wanted my DMs with V. But, like... Oh, God. I mean, you were very emotionally charged in that situation. What did you expect? Just be chill with everything? Yeah. I mean, I, I had, like, just hit 20 years old. Like, I, I was kind of still a new adult to a degree, you know? I, I joined commentaries, like, right before I turned 19, which was when a lot of, um, which was, which was when a lot of the, a lot of my early controversies happened, which, like, you know, the Medicare stuff, the JAR stuff, 
Um, like that was all when I was 19 years old. Um, and so, yeah, I was just kind of like a new adult. Yeah, I, I saw that. I just, uh, I just accepted the friend request. This guy really fucked over archiving shit before 2017. Yeah. What incident sparked the ult? You know, I'm not sure. I was always told that it was like a script that I never looked over. Like that was, that was kind of what I was told. Um, was that apparently Mr. A and Nicole were working on like a co-op or something. And then Mr. A wanted me to check over the script. I never did so. Or because I was never told, rather. Um, and apparently, like, Nicole got tired of, of Mr. A trying to, like, rely so much on the big name. And that's what started the, the alt. At least that's what I was told. That was it? So I was, so that was not a lie. Holy shit. I was, I always thought that that was a little weird. Like, I just kind of went with that story, but I always thought that that was weird. Like, I would have checked this script had I ever been told. That's crazy. Okay. That's... So that's... That's... No, Mr. Mr. A told... Or, like, Mr. A told me after the fact. But he never told me to check the script. I was never told that there was a script to check. <laughs> So I, I never knew. Not until after. Not until after everything all was said and done. And the, the, all this could have been avoided so easy. I know. And it ruined like two years of my life <laughs> because of it. Actually, the, these sprites that I'm drawing, it's actually very interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, it's it's very interesting. These sprites that I'm drawing uh, are, are actually like for a, a story that I'm telling that actually is inspired by the alt. Like the stories that I, or like the little story that I've been doing in commentaries from 2017 to the present was inspired by the alt. Loosely inspired. I want to. I want to clarify that it's not like everything's gonna be point for point. Like, it's it's not gonna be like a one to one thing. <laughs> but like this, this like this event really did have me kind of fucked up. <laughs> so it's 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 fun to think back on. Except when it's not. But like, yeah, holy shit, the fact that I got confirmation of that after all these years. <laughs> that that is indeed actually what happened. Alright, later, Emma. But yeah. Trauma dumping in your stories, yeah. Well, I was told, like, you know, do, like, when it came to storytelling, write what you know, and this is definitely something that I know. Uh, so I was kind of at the epicenter of it all. Criticize the old uh, CCs and third place them more like bully the young large creator and anyone else into being called white knights. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what it felt like. I remember when YouTube dude spoke out against the alts because he thought that like the treatment that I was getting was unfair. 
Um, and that was very interesting to note for me specifically because, like, the, the alt CC kind of jumped on his case, like, super quickly about that. And I was like, YouTube dude was the person that, like, he, he did, like, a whole script on me and sent it to me. Uh, and I, I, I remember this because he called me the Rihanna of commentaries. Where I would just put out like a bunch of bull like a bunch of mid shit and then like I didn't I and I didn't care about the quality of it all. It was very like the the quantity over quality thing. Um and I and and that like that caused me to take like a whole month break from doing anything because I just was afraid that like I was spiraling. And that was like a month, I want to say that was like a month before we did, I think, yeah, I think it was before we did the video on Emmo. I want to say. So like, the minute he started defending me because of the unfair treatment and then getting jumped on for it, I was like, dude, he didn't like my stuff either. <laughs> YouTube dude also had a lot of criticisms of me at the time, but because he was like, one of the few people to actually try and defend me. He, like, got super fucking, uh, like, dogged for it. Who the heck says you're not quality? I, I do. Back then? Are you kidding? The stuff that I released was fucking mid as shit at best. Nowadays, I look at a lot of the stuff that I released back then, and I'm like, man... How did I get popular again? Like, I would say that I wasn't of quality. Series 3, I- The reason that, like, I'm, I've been, like, fucking dragging my feet through, like, doing the Series 3 look back is because a lot of those videos just suck. A lot of those characters fucking like, they're just not good. Was he the one with the solid snake looking avatar? No, that was Nihilistic Snake. Um... Someone who, like, one of the few people from back then that I still have somewhat contact with, actually. Yeah. And some of them you seemed really bogged down. I- I was! <laughs> A lot of that was, was, was me, like, getting my foot through the, or try, like, I had gotten my foot through the door by that point, but, like, I, I was just trying to, like, do the things that people liked about my content, which I'm still not entirely sure what it was, but apparently it wasn't enough, because if I got too harsh, I was, like, seen as this person who, like, couldn't take criticism or was just being destructive and stuff like that. Or, or, like, I was bad at giving criticism. Stuff like that, you know, the, 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 the general gist. But then, like, the minute that I started, like, cooling down on people and, and not, you know, being so pointy with my, with my, um, with my criticisms, like, I was, I was seen as someone who had lost my edge. Someone who didn't want to make commentaries anymore. Someone who was just doing it, you know, to go through the motions, which wasn't true. I enjoyed making commentaries, I just hated how much I was put in the spotlight over some admittedly pretty bad mistakes. Yeah, I was... It was... It, it, it was, uh... I don't know if the word would be a Kaizo trap, but it was, it was definitely a ca like, a lot of it was definitely a catch-22. Like, the whole year, I just, I felt like I couldn't do anything. I felt like I was kind of trapped. And the F team sure as fuck didn't help that matter. Um, you know, Dylan, after he left the alts, didn't really help matters. Chambers definitely didn't help matters. I was... And then, like, even, even those that I considered my closest friends were not in my corner the entire way through. So even that... You know, I, I felt kind of trapped, alone. I couldn't do anything. I was very isolated. So. Yeah.
is it's it's kind of fucked. Oh yeah, no, this was this was 2017. A lot of this is is very over, um, and again, I don't always think about it, but uh. It does pop up from time to time, and it's very obvious that I'm still not over it. <laughs> or, I, I'm not over it yet. Hey, Luxter. Ugh. Yeah. Chambers is not a good person. They tried so hard to be a surrogate mother figure and their libertarian right away drift oozes out like a poison. Christ. Yeah, no. I, it's... The only reason I, I trusted her when I did was because, uh, again, I, I had literally no one else to turn to at the time. Or at least I didn't feel like I could turn to anyone else. It was no wonder that I was like... A paranoid wreck by the end of 2017. Mm-hmm. I remember that. That was like a criticism of me, wasn't it? Like, fucking Kurome and Dylan, I remember in the, um... In the live stream that, that was on Manga Comments channel, like, criticized me for being paranoid. <laughs> They criticized me for effectively being a victim. <laughs> ah, it's fucking crazy to think back that. Like, and people were okay with that. People fucking parroted that. And Douglas was also, like, among one of the people that, that used that same idea of, like, oh, Doodle's paranoid, and that's a bad thing. It's like, hey, do you want to maybe listen to where that paranoia came from? Where Ski Hound, like, took a private conversation that Boone and I were having about one of the alt's videos and then gave it to the alt? Are we going to acknowledge that? No? I'm just bad because I was... Th I, I, I had my trust broken? Awesome. Cool. Love that. <laughs> Again, I don't miss it. Uh -huh. Twenty seventeen was just not a year. Well, it was, but it was not a good year. Aren't slash aren't you still a big commentator person? So being someone with a big following, being paranoid that people want to get in your inner circle to get dirt on you makes sense. Yeah. Well, at the time, that's that again. That was like one of the things that people criticized me for. I think Boone even criticized me for it. Rachel criticized me for it. YouTube dude criticized me for it. Like that was like a big thing. People didn't like the fact that I was suddenly paranoid. Like I it. That should have struck struck people as very weird too, because like before then, I was very open about things. I had, when I made my Skype, I made a video talking about how I made a Skype specifically so I could meet the, the people in the commentary community at the time in the SCC. So it's like that should have struck people as weird that suddenly I was very being very reclusive. The fact that I had cut everyone off, 
the fact that I unadded everyone off of my Skype list, no one saw that as weird. No one, like, ev everyone got, just got angry at it. Because Silver, I remember, got really angry that I did that. Like... <laughs> situation like that would impa impact your perception of others? Yeah. Dude, it took years for me to, like, shake that off, though. It took, like... It, it, it took quite a while. I think I started trusting people again by... What, 2020? Like, it took so many years for me to, like... Get to the point where I could trust others. Does it feel weird working with Jar because of that drama? Well, Jar and I... We, we've talked about things long ago. Like, we had conversations about the Alt-CC stuff, and specifically our drama, like, preceding that. And we both kind of come... Or we, we both kind of came to the realization that's like... Yeah, it was just kind of a lot of miscommunication from our, our end. This is from an outsider's view of you, take it with a grain of salt, but I don't think they thought of you as a genuine person. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. It, it's kind of easy to say that in hindsight now, what with the fact that Rachel and I don't talk and I don't ever want to see her again. <laughs> um, Rachel and I... God, Rachel was... A whole different can of worms, frankly. Uh, Christ. I don't even know where I'd begin with that, with that tirade. But like, it's, it's so, it's, it's, it's easy to say that like, maybe I just wasn't... Maybe I was just used for clout or something, possibly. I, it's not an impossibility. Um. But like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really talk to a lot of the people from back then any, uh, anyway. <laughs> but you yeah, know, when it comes to Jar, um, a, a lot of it was miscommunication from his, uh, from our end. Because Jar thought that I was, like, re-sparking the drama. Like, Jar thought that I was, I was still angry or, or, like, was still trying to get the last word in on the, on the situation between he and I, when, at the end of the day, uh, what I thought I was doing was just trying to tie up any loose ends so that the CC didn't keep harking on it, like harping on it. That's what I was trying to do. Whether or not I did that successfully is up in the air, personally. Uh, looking back, I wouldn't say so. But that's what I was trying to do. There was, there was like, a... There was a, um... An intention there of me, like, trying to get the, the rest of the community to shut up about the JAR stuff. That's why I did the video on Mr. A and MDXLR and the video that I did on the conundrum at the time. Um, and we both kind of came to the realization that, like, that's just kind of what we saw the other. Because cause JAR also was trying to do that with his, with his like, hour-long video on everyone that talked about it. He was just trying to get people to shut up about it, too. And it was just kind of one of those things where it was like... We had the outsider... What, like, we both wanted people to stop it, but we saw the other person as trying to spark things back up, or to trying to get the last word in on it. And so it was just kind of huge miscommunication from his and I's end. So I don't say it's really weird working with Jar nowadays, because... You know, like, I, I don't feel weird editing for Jar because of the drama that we had back in 2016. Because I, we, we cleared up a lot of miscommunication from the both of us, like, some years ago. Even before, Jar's fans knew that we cleared up the air between the two of us. Uh, what am I drawing? Uh, sprites. <laughs> Sprites for, for Tabitha. I just, uh... I'm getting very distracted. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh... Just because this is, this is not... This is one of those things that's like, I, I... Again, I do think about a lot. 
I just hadn't had the chance to really tell the people who affect, who affected me the most about it. <laughs> and now that, like, one of them is here, it's like, I can just dump all of this, all of this pent-up fucking emotions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess if there was anything else that maybe you were wondering from my perspective, I could have, I could probably. Is she angry? Yeah, Tabitha, for sure, for sure. But yeah, no. If if there is anything else that maybe you you wanted answered, or or maybe that, like, you never got the perspective from me from, uh, I guess I don't mind, uh, answering at this point, just because we're here. From what I know of Jar's history, I can see I'm not liking what the situation turned into. Oh yeah, knowing this now, but that's, this is very much an in-hindsight thing. I just... <laughs> Doodle tons the untold story. Well, because again, it really was. I didn't, like, contrary to the popular belief, I didn't really talk about the alt that much. There was a couple of streams where I did. I, I looked back, and there was a couple of streams where, since it got brought up, I was able to say something about it. Um, but it wasn't frequently. I really got to hear your side of things. Anything else I'll hit you up on Discord? Fair enough. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was something that I didn't really talk about at the time when it was happening, because I didn't feel like I could. Lux or so. Yeah, obviously it would be the untold story. <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to think of some other things that I could talk about from there that I, like, had thoughts on, but never got a really chance to say. I guess there was a time where, like, what was it, people were getting onto my case because they thought that I had said nobody should criticize Joshua. Like, after the, the Joshua tree, like, first started, before it became the current named blob that ate everyone. Um... I remember there was like a point in time where, where people in the alt were telling me it's like, oh, why is it okay to to criticize X, Y, or Z thing, but not okay to criticize Joshua? Or, or why would you say don't criticize Joshua when he obviously still needs it? And I'm like, I never said that. <laughs> that was not my point. It was just kind of like, hey, if he makes another video, like, chill. Like, it was kind of not a- it was not one of those things where it's like, oh, he couldn't be criticized, but it's like, don't criticize him for every video he releases. Which what people were doing at the time, which was why the Joshua Tree got as big as it did. <laughs> that was another thing. I actually remember I wanted to hit that alt CC video in particular. Um, so I think I have- I think that's one of the few ones that I do have on my computer. I think. Possibly. I'd have to go check. I'd have to double check. Um. But that was one of the things that I remember I wanted to hit. I wanted to cover that. Is the Joshua Tree a 28 video response chain or something? Something like that. Um, it's a lot bigger nowadays. Sounds like a Karami video. It might have been. I, point is, uh, it's, it's a lot bigger nowadays. Um. It's, uh. We now call it the blob they date everyone, because it just persisted to grow.
Uh, yeah, so this was the most recent iteration of it. Hold on. Oh, come on. I wanna... Copy image link. This... Is what the Joshua Tree turned into. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking RL sign. Correct. That it. It, it was. It, it is. I, I did name it after the, the fucking Goosebumps book. But this is what the Joshua Tree turned into. This is the most infamous commentary chain in our community now. I don't get what's going on, but I'll lose a whole ass monster of a chain. Yeah, so... One of these days I plan on making a video about this, particularly. Because <laughs> there's a lot to talk about here. <laughs> um... God... Three hour video on the Joshua Tree. Oh, it wouldn't be a three hour video. Cause I could I can boil a lot of it down. There was like the Joshua Tree section here. Like over over on this side. There was <laughs> Yeah. This, this is it. So it's like over here in the on, on the corner here. This this was the Joshua Tree. Um this was the the Back to Our Roots bandwagon. Then you had the CanCom. ImageGate was up here. And then you have all of this here in the middle. This was the um the Halo Dan Wars and then the Halo uh, Halo Miranda Wars. You people are bizarre. <sighs> the the reason that this is as big as it is, is mostly because of things getting tacked onto it when they shouldn't be. Um, had it not been for, say, ImageGate getting connected in, like, had, like, Sarah not connected the entirety of ImageGate with his video, it would be here. Had it not been for the CanCom covering Halo fans' video on Azzy, this section would not be here. Had, um, had Nicholas E. Miranda not covered Halo fans' video on Nicholas's video about, uh, Back to Our Roots, you know, this whole thing would not have been implemented. So, realistically, as far as, like, the Joshua Tree part itself goes, that is probably the worst of it. Everything else kind of got implemented accidentally. And it's not to say that these things don't still have their problems. Like the Halo fan war, or like the Halo Dan and Halo Miranda wars. Um, yeah, Halo fan needs to stop bullying kids. Actually, Halo fan needs to stop interacting with children just in general, but that's a different story. That is a different topic for another day. Um. Look, just, just, all I'm asking is, don't throw child pornography into people's fucking comment sections. Good God. Anyway. <laughs> uh. All this started because of an MLP review? Yeah. The very fucking seed was, was my fucking video on on Rainbow Rocks. God. Oh yeah, Halo Fan fucking... I did a video on Halo Fan and, uh, Dan Stein. It was actually this video, I think. It was, it was on this video. Halo Fan left a comment with, like, a link. And when we clicked it, it was a link to child porn. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a thing. So, yeah, Halo fan needs to just never interact with children. Sprite's face is current mode, yeah. But yeah, no. When the, when the ult criticized me for apparently saying that nobody could cover Joshua when he still obviously needed the criticism, it's like, that was not my point. That was like a huge straw man of my point. Which was kind of... a thing. And then you had fucking, what was it, the F team? Can they do the old tiny filler a filter over Tabitha? Oh, it's just a it's just a plugin that I have. It's one of the BCC plugins that I have. Um, but yeah, then you had um, yeah, you had all the F team stuff, which was really funny, uh, in a tragic kind of way, because not only was there plunder spark in the movie, which as I said, uh kind of set me off on this thought process again, uh, yesterday when I was watching it. <laughs> um, where, uh, fucking, they were, uh, where they, they fucking got out of my case for, quote, being spiteful, but, like, all of the stuff that they were saying about Jim at the time, they, they could get away with that. That was perfectly fine for them, I guess. Shrug. I had to be totally fucking civil. Um... Period in 2020 to 2022 where Emma kept telling you a bunch, bunch of weird SEC people being sex pests or pedos or groomers. Yeah. <clears throat> we did unfortunately have, like, a moment where we were, like, kinda catching a lot of those people. And looking back, unfortunately, there were a lot of red flags that we kind of overlooked. For instance, V was a pretty good example of this. Um, while I was looking back in the Skype logs between V and I, there is a point where he talks about how he has Shotokan on his computer. And it just didn't register with me at the time that that was, like, a huge red flag. Um... Like, I just didn't really acknowledge it in our DMs. Then there was, like, the whole ship between Jonah... Or, uh, sorry, Joni... And Lunatic. So I, I, I had to catch myself on that, because I remember it was called Jonatic at the time. Um... But yeah, there was the... There was the, the ship between Joni Ru and, um... And Lunatic, the game. Which, who were both minors at the time, and V drew some really lewd, like, kind of bordering CP stuff between the two of them. Like, V was a really good example of, of how we, we just kind of, like, overlooked a lot of red flags because we didn't think about it too hard. Yep, the, the thing with, with Coda. <laughs> he drew CP as a minor of minors, yeah. So... Oh, yeah, actually, uh, Tara, did you hear at the, uh, about the time that V, um, last year, actually? Um, <laughs> y'all should get key commentaries, nah. Um, but yeah, did you hear about last year where V came back to the internet after, like, after getting basically chased off? Under a Twitter account called the Alt-CC. 
Did you hear about that? Did, did, um, did Emma ever tell you about that? You and Nicole bullied him. <laughs> Good. <laughs> how old was he? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how old he is now, so I wouldn't be able to tell you how old he was at the time. But he was definitely... Definitely older than he should have been doing that. Uh, he's in high school in the alt CC days, something like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know about that, but yeah, he still it was <laughs> it's still it's not something you should be really going out of your way to do. It's kind of kind of weird, regardless. Um, but again, we didn't we didn't think too much of it at the time. Mostly because a lot of other people in the, the uh, in the the chat and stuff were minors as well. So like, it was just kind of one of those things where we just didn't think about it too hard. And then when we did think about it too hard, it was like, oh, oh no, I know, I know, Nicole was was dark side. That one I knew. <laughs> Because I remember when Nicole was bullying uh, Akumu. That was great, by the way. Peak. Peak performance on Nicole's end. Um. But, uh. God, yeah, we also found out that Kurome was a bit of a... Bit of a, a creep. Um... Cause, uh, what was it? Apparently Kurome was, like, hitting on Umbris as a 12... Or, like, as a 12-year-old. One 12-year-old Blast Zone boy. Um... It was that... We all kind of came together to expose Rachel for a lot of the stuff that she was doing behind the scenes with minors. Um, Kumu is such a loser, I'm manifesting her cracking her egg. It would be incredibly funny if they ooh soft bean into a trans girl. Hell yeah! No, I've been, I've been saying, I have been saying that since I found out that Nicole was trans. I had been saying, because Akuma's been kind of a thorn in people's sides for a, a bit, a bit too long, and then catching that, that he was, he's very much inspired by the alt CC and Medicare, I was just like, oh, dude, when is Akuma gonna take the, when is Akuma gonna, gonna hit that, that trans arc? <laughs> Did you know that Nicole used to be anti-Semitic? Not surprised. Look, I, I don't know how Nicole is nowadays. I'm sure she's fine. I, you know, obviously I, obviously I don't keep up with her too much. Um, but I'm, I'm sure she's fine now. At the time, let's be honest, the dark side uh, era for her was... Mm, <laughs> not great. She was an anti-Semitic. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm just saying, she. I wouldn't be surprised if she was. I don't know, Big Mac. I, I don't I don't know if, if what Big Mac is saying is true or not, but... Yeah, no, definitely. It, an edgy shit kid that then grew up. That's, that's what I figure would have been the case, but the Dark Scythe era was still... <laughs> I mean, I don't... I don't... By the sounds of it, during the Akumu videos, it's not even something that she herself stands by, so I'm not gonna hold it against her. I'm sure she's fine nowadays. <laughs> but like... Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, we all had kind of an edgy phase to some degree. I fucking... 
There are still videos on my channel where I said the N-word. Just kinda let it stay there. God, what a fucking trip. Ugh. So I'm not I'm not judging Nicole for it nowadays. I don't I don't I haven't spoken to her. Actually, I don't even think I spoke to her during the Dark Scythe era. Did I? I don't remember. Jesus. Like Christ. You didn't no? Crazy. That whole time. I'm like, I never even talked to the person who kind of started it all. That's wild. I mean, maybe. Possibly. <laughs> It'd be interesting, if nothing more. all this time. Uh. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some other stuff that I could talk about from that era, because that was like such a wild ride. Um. Oh, yeah, apparently, uh, as far as, like, people that, that were, like, around back then and, and like, partook in alt-CC stuff... So you remember Ernie, right? You remember Ill and I Guy 34? Uh, I wound up seeing... I remember, I remember someone sent me his, his Twitter account. And apparently he now follows people like Stone Toss and fucking, uh, Libs of TikTok. is very funny. But I'm also kind of not surprised. Because one of his favorite bits against me... One of his favorite bits against me was like, oh, calm your non-existent tits, doodle. So I'm not surprised, but like... Yeah, he fell down the pipeline hard. Remember that line? But yeah, that was, uh, I mean, that was, that was part of the, the many bits of transphobia that I had to face during 2017. One of the many, many places that I had to face transphobia that year. <laughs> As if the Medicare fans and, uh, and the alt wasn't bad enough at the time. Uh <laughs> Yeah. You think Ernie would hate him uh Yamato and Bridget if still around? I mean he again, he's I mean he still exists. You could probably go you could probably find his Twitter and he's probably talked about it or at least liked some fucking anti-trans tweets. Like... Dude was, like, horribly transphobic. Dude, it turns out, like, a lot of commentators back then were transphobic. Because I also found out that, um... I also found out that Half-Boiled Hero wound up following Stone Toss. 
Uh, he's also now a crypto bro too, which is interesting. I didn't, I, I wouldn't have taken Half Boiled Hero for, you know, being into crypto, but he is now a shrug. People are transphobic to NBXLR. Yeah, but that was that was before I had joined the community, so I missed a lot of that. So I I I had overlooked a lot of that. So when I came into the community, people were and I, I wanna I wanna I wanna put this in, in as big of a thing as I could. People were accepting question mark? Big bold question mark? Or at least people were more willing to use, like, she, her pronouns with me. Um, which was... I mean, I, I take... We take those. But, like, you know, if you look back at a lot of the ways that people... Is the SEC big queer now? Oh, for sure, for sure. It's, it's harder... It, in the SEC, it is harder to find someone who is either straight or cis than it is to find someone on the LGBT spectrum. It's... It's so, it's so much better now than it was back then. We, we wound up getting rid of a lot of the... We wound up getting rid of a lot of the... I don't know if I'd say undesirables, but... Undesirables, we'll use that as, that as a word for... Because I don't have any better words right now. <laughs> I don't have any less, um... Hmm, less, uh, Roger Waters-esque kind of words. Then you'll all be furries in a couple years, calling it out. I mean, there's already a handful of furries in the community. Uh, a handful of people have, have thought that I was, a, or that I'm a furry, so... Shrug. Eh, problematic. I guess. But yeah, no, there, for me, there's like a, I'm not, I'm not even really drawing right now, <laughs> but for me, there's like a, there's like a, a Venn diagram, like a, like a three-way Venn diagram, where like a third of the people who watch me think I am, uh, think that I am very, very sapphic. Um, there's one part of my, my watchers and stuff, and, and, and friends that, uh, think that I'm a furry, and then lately there's, there's been this third group of my friends and, and fans who think that I'm very autistic. <laughs> there is, there is overlap, but this is the Venn diagram. <laughs> God. I'm Neko Mimi coded. Am I? You can see it. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah. Uh. Yeah, no. What a shape. Oh, because you made a joke about it. Right, yeah. That was a thing, Master Shadow. I made a joke about it some... <laughs> Draw some fucking fox ears or some shit. The marks will go crazy. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait just a sec. Um, wait. Okay. Alright. Alright, we, uh... <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, sapphic. You're you're asking what is sapphic? Sapphic is like 
It, it's, 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 uh, lesbian light. <laughs> Put it that way. Screenshotting it? Okay. Fair enough. Sadik is girl girl do kissy on the lips, yeah? That's that's the way to put it. <laughs> but yeah, um uh, as, as far as being a furry goes, uh No, if I if if I had to pick I mean you know, it wouldn't even it wouldn't even be like me picking it because it's just like an, a universe assigned fursona. Like the universe has assigned me a fursona as is. Fucking sheep. <laughs> the universe has assigned me as a sheep, and there's nothing I can do about it. You're a sheep soda? Or alpaca? It depends. Yeah, for me, it's it's definitely sheep. Um... It's, it's a very long-standing joke for me. Um... I, I guess, I guess it's now time to explain the sheep joke again for another new person, so... Um... Well... Uh, I don't know if you remember what my dad name was, because, uh, that was very commonly, or I was very commonly called it during the LCC era, but, um, if you don't, um, my, my dad name was Sean, or my dad name is Sean, um, and in middle school, there was a pretty popular show around the time, um, about a sheep, with that name, it was spelled differently, mind you, but it was it was still you know the general gist. And so in middle school, before I came out as trans, um, yep, I would get called Sean the Sheep uh, a lot. And <laughs> it's it's funny because I I came out as trans, and now I'm a Peppa Pig character because there's a character on that show called Susie Sheep. <laughs> um God. And it just it, it gets worse. You know, there's there's also the fact that like I mean, if if you want to get like really personal, there's also the fact that I'm just kind of the black sheep of my of my family. Like I'm the only one with my last name in my family. So that's kind of there. Um there's, um, there's the, the fact that I, I do tend to like to study up on, like, sleep science and the, the studies of, like, dream interpretation and stuff like that. It's, it's something that I, I find to be quite fascinating. And what is sleep and, uh, and dreams, like, associated with? Sheep. Um... There's, uh, there was, oh, there was when Wulu came out. Um, when, when fucking, uh, Game Freak, uh, released Wulu, right? And all of the, it, it, it does go back to Sheep. Um, so yeah, when, when Wulu came out, let me, let me bring Wulu over here. Okay. So, um, let me go grab an image real quick. Uh, there we go. So, the character that I use to represent myself... Come on. Damn it. Let me grab it. Okay. Yeah, the, the... This was, this was my, my, my Sona in, in, in 2017. Um, you, you might notice something 
um, a little similar about the bangs. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> just, I couldn't get away with it. I, cu I couldn't get away from it. This is, it was everywhere. So I have jokingly called it a universe... A, a universe assigned fursona. I did not ask for it. But the universe has given it to me. <laughs> I am not a furry. However, the universe says that I should be. <laughs> it was not it was something that I couldn't escape from. And then there's like little like little smaller kind of coincidental things, but just kind of make it that much funnier. Because there was like a, a little uh Shindon maker, I think. You know the thing where you like it's, it's like one of those things where you, you type in your name and it gives you a result, right? Um, that thing. I did one of those for like, what would be your VTuber persona? And I got Sheep Milf as, as my response. Um, which again, doesn't really mean anything inherently, but it's really funny when you consider everything else. Um... Then there was the fact that I, in another group of friends, I, uh, they, they wanted to draw all of us as Animal Crossing villagers, so they made a list of what, like, all the different types of villagers were between 1 and 12, uh, around for everyone to guess, and I guessed, or, or not guessed, but, like, pick a number between 1 and 12. I picked 10, which was sheep, so it's, like, little things like that, it's just really funny, I can't escape sheep. It's just, it's not something that I can, I can escape, so it's... <laughs> just come out of the closet, eat grass, bozo. <laughs> God. It's very fun. Share yourself now. Uh, it's very funny. I don't mind joking about it. It's it's very funny. I've and yeah, as um as someone had said. Oh yeah, as Rhino said, I have drawn myself as a sheep a couple of times. Um, when I was doing the whole um uh bimbo tones thing. Uh when when I had made when I made bimbo tones, I did wind up drawing myself uh drawing her as like a as a sheep girl at one point, so it's like, you know, I've done it before. It's very funny. I don't, I don't mind too much. <laughs> you drew that, and we all went wild. Yeah, you guys did. It was great. Uh. Like, I don't even need to choose the persona. It was it was already picked for me. Untold Truth, 8th Universal Law, Shamanism. <laughs> You're a fucking sheep. Uh... 
Join the new world order? <laughs> Christ. I've already said that if, uh, like, the first thing that I would do if I got, like, a stream deck, because, uh, my, my regulars, you guys would know that I have, like, the one point redeem of, of bimbo tones. I have already said that if I ever got something that allowed me to set more than one key, uh, like keybind, so if I got like a stream deck or something, the first thing that I would do is make a sheep potion, because that's, I'm like, fucking contractually obligated for that. <laughs> that is, that is a fucking, that is an obligation. At this point. <laughs> so. New World Order, the last days of Colorado. <laughs> On the notes of this... Okay, hold on. I need to make sure that I'm, I'm getting that right. What is TNL? Just need double check. Oh, the new order. Yeah, okay. I was right. Yeah, yeah. I looked it up. Wanted to double check that I had it right. Uh, actually, on the... Oh wow, that just really did, like, leave my head, huh? I don't even remember what I was gonna say. Dang. <laughs> well, fuck. I'm sure it wasn't important. <laughs> Someone changed timelines on you, I guess. Like I had a I had a thought process and I don't remember where it went.
should read books. That game bad. Oh. <laughs> Talking about uh, um, actually, yeah, no, we're not talking about civilization, but civilization is a lot of fun. If you want like alternate history, technically, that's that's alternate history. CC alternate history when Doodle Tom's read that script. Uh, SCC alternate history, what if I wasn't friends with Rachel? What if I didn't meet V Omega? What if I didn't do the Medicare video? God damn! <laughs> those are, those are pretty good questions. Hmm. What if the SEC never formed? Well then a lot of commentary stuff probably wouldn't have formed. SEC has been around for a while. It just it didn't go by this name immediately. I'd say there was there would have never been commentary on YouTube, but I would say it probably wouldn't be to the degree that it is now, maybe. Because I know someone like, for instance, right? <clears throat> Turkey Tom would not have been a commentator. That much I can say for certain, because had it not been for me, commentarian or Phineas. Uh, would not have become a commentator for the brief period that he was, which thus means Turkey Tom wouldn't have found commentary. And so anyone who is inspired by Turkey Tom, that entire group of people probably they would either find an in, they would either have to find an inspiration somewhere else, or they just would not have been commentary uh, commentators at all. Just as as one massive example. It, because it, it's like, because of me, like, Phineas had joined the SCC, which then led to Tom doing videos in the SCC, the one on, like, Kablam and stuff like that. Um, and then to make his, C or his SCC rant, and then to drop from being SCC to go do his own thing. Turkey Tom was around for the alt-CC, I could have sworn I saw him. He, he was, he was. Turkey Tom was a, was a slideshow commentator, or at least a, like a, a, a commentator in this community back in 2016. He actually made, I think, the honorable mentions, or the dishonorable mentions, I guess, for my worst, uh, uh, my, my worst commentaries of that year. His, his video on Kablam made my, my worst year, my worst that year, although nowadays if I were to make that video, I would put his video on Phineas on there because that video is just nothing but bullying because he went around to his, um, he went around to his classmates and just got all of them to talk shit about Phineas on camera for like, I want to say five to ten minutes or so. So I am I am the reason that Turkey Tom is 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 as big as he is, sorta, kinda. I'm at least the reason that he started doing commentary. <laughs> yeah.
He always thought he was a little shit, now he's making milk toast internet review videos with no bite. That is one of the more- f that is, it, like, Tom is one of the most, like, one of the most interesting influences I've had. <laughs> he went around his little class telling people to bully an internet rando? Well, no, it was a classmate. Phineas and Turkey Tom were, were like, actual classmates at the time. Um, so he just got his, his, his class to talk shit about one dude in his class. So, yeah. Yeah. Hello, oh, off brand Mario. Welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. But yeah. It's one of the it's one of the weirder influences that I have I have had. So Name my favorite. My favorite influence or f oh, favorite train <laughs> for Opera and Mario. I didn't see that. I guess for my, my regulars, I will have to warn you guys, tomorrow there's not going to be a morning stream. If I do a stream it, at all, it would have to be during the afternoon. Keyword if, so kind of don't expect a stream tomorrow is what I'm trying to say. Uh, because I, <laughs> I've got jury duty to, uh, tomorrow. So... All right, later, Tara. But yeah, I've got jury duty tomorrow, so... Uh, don't expect a stream that morning. That's great, uh, this is my second time getting summoned for jury duty. The, uh, but this is, this is, however, this is going to be my first time going in for it. Uh, because the last time that I, uh, I was summoned for jury duty was March of 2020. You can go ahead and guess why I didn't go in that day. <laughs> so, what are we doing in here? Well, I'm actually about to wrap up the stream, so... Dang! Fuck! I've been going Dang. for two hours! <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to know that, Noodle Hounds? I'm not on your Twitch yet! <laughs> Thank you for the follow off, friend Mario. But yeah. It might not be a stream all week, depending on how long the, uh, the case goes on for. Oh, I can't go all week! Uh-uh, I can't do that. I've got a dentist appointment on Friday. Uh 
Uh uh, no way that I can do that. Oh, jury anyway, duty. I, yeah. I got jury duty tomorrow, so there's not gonna be a stream tomorrow. <laughs> um. But yeah, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and call that a stream. Uh, later, chat. <laughs>